I want to know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school. I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play.
I don't think of this as a high school weight room. It's more like a high school classroom. I'm learning how to manage my time here. I'm learning that it's important to have goals and that it takes persistence and commitment to reach them. And I'm learning that the best way to lead is by example. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. <laughs>
We'll see if that cleared it up at all. Does that point goes to the Warriors? Number six, Murphy goes back to serve. Freshman here for Argus, number 13, DeWolf. <laughs> we still haven't. Well, it, it got worse, and then now I'm being told that it got better. <laughs> <laughs> so I so said, whatever you do, don't do anything else. <laughs> Third set's turning out to be uh, yeah. a, a pretty good battle going yeah. on here. We had a tight score here at 18. Freeman, senior for the Warriors, gets set to serve. It's been pretty good back and forth here in this third set. This is a great job by 18. Ellie Musselman just tapping the ball down. Freeman serves. <laughs> Scores now 20 to 18. Freeman again. Almost looked like a uh, it was going to be a miscommunication. Yeah. They all kind of looked at each other there for a second. Oh, that was a senior Richard there from the backcourt throwing that hard. 
Looked like it caught it right in that spot. It's like, all right, do I go to bump it or do I go to set it? <laughs> <laughs> Scores now 20 to 19 in favor of the Warriors as, is that number nine? Yep, Ferguson. For Ar uh, Argus gets set to serve. You see Richard there got a block on it and put it up in the air. This is number 11, Allison Grothhaus. Grothus. Looks like it just bounced off her hand. That That's another one that's, uh, yep. that's another uh, player that I don't know. <laughs> See, we have a substitution for the Warriors. That's number seven, Reese Hoover. Another freshman here getting some playing time, varsity. That was a great job by the freshman here, DeWolf, for Argus. Keeping him alive as scores 21-20 in favor of the Warriors as number one, Maddie DeWolf, gets set to serve. I couldn't tell if that was a block or if it was on the net, but I either think it way. actually went in the net right at the very top, but she was right there yep. to block that. Scores now 21-21 apiece, and it's pretty good. Pretty good match. So Argus takes the lead here late, 22-21. You have the senior Maddie DeWolf serving. Of course, she's wearing a, a different color jersey. She's the... That's the Labaro. Le yep. You see, scores now 23-21. You see, North Miami doesn't utilize that uh, tactic here in volleyball. Uh, Score is now 23-22 in favor of the Lady Dragons. We have a substitution here for the Warriors as Murphy comes back on. Again, this is set number three. The Warriors took set one and two. Here it's tied at 23 here in the final stages of this set number three. Now Argus here with a chance. They have the, the set point in their favors. It's 24-23 to Argus. Number six, senior Kendall Ferguson to serve. Twenty-four apiece. As senior Stein goes back to serve. Oh, great job by Argus. Freeman's pretty good at throwing it down hard, and they're able to dig it. And the point goes to Argus. You're definitely going into extra innings yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Argus is going to substitute number five out onto the court. That's fair. Looks like putting in height at the front. Yep. Well, your tallest girl is serving, so you got to. Oh, and there it is. The senior there with an excellent serve. As Argus takes the third set. Takes the third set, 26-24. So we will be getting ready for another three-minute break. And uh, 
getting set up for uh, set number four. Yeah, that game there was actually kind of exciting. Yeah. Well, I keep forgetting. I keep setting my phone by the computer. <laughs> as, soon as, I, as soon as I set the phone by the computer, that's when we have static going across the, across the wire there. Yes, and I, you know we got we got Zach Schaefer who who normally helps me commentate these games sitting next to us. He goes, mm -hmm. well, for for Argus, we're going into overtime now. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is good. It was competitive, very right. competitive. It was. They uh, they went into overtime. Yep. You know, per se with uh, Culver on Tuesday night, and actually ended up playing all five sets and, mm. and ended up losing. A, I believe it was like twenty five to twenty three the of the. Uh, mm. Uh, for the fifth set. Well, we should be taking a three-minute timeout here. Oh, ref's going over to get his water break. <laughs> <laughs> well, last time that took us five minutes, so... <laughs> Still have to think that North Miami isn't really feeling the pressure yet, even though Argus just took a, a tough one, tough set number three. No, and if uh, if Argus comes out with just as much fire as what they had under that under that uh, that last game, then uh, um, they will be feeling the pressure, mm -hmm. you know, as that as that next set goes on. Yep. You know, I just wish I just wish that that uh, that momentum that fire would have started out a little sooner. Yeah. Yep. So here we have the Warriors taking the court. So you're talking about the uh, the dead spots on the basketball court. I remember. So my, my father played a long, long time ago at Caston, and uh, he was telling me the old stories about coming here and playing Argus, and he would take the ball down the court, and you'd hit, dribble it on one of those dead spots, and the ball would go bouncing. Bouncing which, another direction, yep. or just flat out not bounce at yeah. all. <laughs> See so here, it looks like both teams are ready to play. Looks like the Warriors are going to serve this one off. That's a senior Stein getting ready for the Warriors. Here in set number four. And she puts that one into the net at Seems like there's been a huge momentum shift now. Argus is high on energy, and North Miami seems a little uh, almost like they put it into coast. And well, that's usually what happens when you when you come out and take the first two games right away, yeah. or or you, you you come out right right away, you get a little overconfident, yep. and, and uh, you just get off to such a big lead, you. You know, you slow down. As so the Dragons here go two to one, set number four is the senior Richard. Number eight goes back to serve.
That was another hard hit from the back row, it looked oh, like. Oh, and there, yeah. That was a senior there, kind of, don't know if she slipped or the ball just bounced awkwardly off her elbow there, but score is tied two to two. We have a substitution for the Warriors as number two, Emma Wright comes on to serve. She rolled that one in. Ooh. Oh, she was rolling. It was tipped. So the Warriors take a three to two lead here. Is right again to serve. So now we go to four to two. Right serves that one out of bounds. It's la the last set was a one-point game for quite a bit, so I expect the same out of this one as it's three to four, Warriors lead. And those type of games, it just makes it interesting. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, the players are the players are excited and involved, but it also gets the fans excited mm -hmm. yep. and involved. And of course, Argus being a Smaller oh, gym, hit. yeah. Is that Freeman? As Freeman goes back to serve, of course, with Argus being a little bit of a smaller gym, smaller bleachers, a little bit less of a crowd, you really like to see some energy and intensity. Yep. As again, Freeman here to serve for the Warriors. That was number 18 that checked in for the Warriors. Musselman. Argus is showing a lot of, a lot of grit and toughness here. It's good back and forth. I, yeah, I'm really enjoying this. They you know, enjoyed the last game and the start of this game here is really. That was Rodriguez there. Looked like Argus blocked it, but it fell into one of the gaps of their defense. The score is five to four in favor of the Warriors. It's number 12, Mallory Hoovers to serve. The score moves to six to four, Hoover again to serve for the Warriors. Just over the net, that's nice line drive serve. Another great job by Rodriguez. Putting that one into the gap of, one of the gaps of Argus's defense. The score is now eight to four, in favor of the Warriors. Point goes to Argus there. Uh, looks like they're going to have a substitution. Number 14, as senior Kaylee Bradley checks in. As senior Maddie DeWolf to serve for the Dragons. Scores 8 to 5, in favor of the Lady Warriors. Point was ruled in favor of the Warriors. Murphy comes in, scores nine to five. Rodriguez back to serve. And 
That was a good job by Musselman there, just finding another gap in the defense. Scores now 10 to five as Rodriguez serves. Now the score is 11 to five. We have a timeout here by Argus. You gotta try to bring that intensity back here for the Lady Dragons. Hopefully, at least get the momentum stopped for that uh, the Warriors have gotten started mm -hmm. and, and uh, see if they can't get them back under control and, and get that fire relay. Right. And we haven't seen uh, freshman number 13 for the Dragons. That's uh, Caitlin DeWolf. Now, if I remember the rules correctly, you can only play so many sets a Probably week. Probably only so many sets per, per day. Per day? Yeah, per day. Well, she would have played, what, two or three in the JV? Three? She probably played all three. And then she played three so far here in varsity. And that point goes to Argus. It's number 11, Allison Grothus, set to serve. And Murphy for the Warriors putting that one in the net. Score goes to 11 to seven here. Warrior lead. Uh, just some miscommunication there. As you see Richard had the tip, put the ball in the air, and yeah, it looked like they they all were looking at each other yeah. and not going after the ball at all. And I guess that's something you just have to deal with as a coach. And you know, being so young as Argus is, you have to put up with it now and try to coach him out of it as the season progresses. That was great by number six, it looked like. Kendall Ferguson, senior. The score is 12 to eight, in favor of the Warriors. And there's the senior Freeman for the Warriors. as they now get set to serve with the senior Madeline C. Scores 13 to eight here in the fourth set. Is that number eight? Yes. The senior Richard there coming up big. We're seeing some more back and forth here. Hopefully the senior Richard here can bring Argus back from this deficit that they got. The score is 13 to nine. Now you hear some energy, you see it. Girls are cheering. The uh, pep block got fired up. <laughs> Scores 13 to 10. Senior Richard there to serve. Oh, and I don't want to be the one to talk about technique because I, this is only my third experience with volleyball, but I think the coach would like her to you know, put that ball in the air with her forearms and not 
try to spike it. The score is 14 to 10. So we see Coach Lynn here giving some advice to the, uh, I believe that's Emma Wright. As she extends the lead by six here, it's 16 to 10, in favor of the Warriors. Oh, number five there just whiffing on it. That's fair. And Rodriguez sends that one just a little bit too far for the Warriors as number 14, Kaylee Bradley for the Dragons is going to set to serve. Scores 17 to 11. This point goes to the Warriors there. 18 to 11 as Marianne Freeman gets set to serve. See number 18, Ellie Musselman subbing in, and number nine, Reagan Stein, senior, taking a breather. Again, this is set number four. Warriors won the first two, Argus took the third. That looked like a miscommunication error as I saw. Looked like the senior Richard was yelling that she got it, but number six wanted to play it as well. We have Freeman here to serve for the Warriors. And that time Rodriguez got that one to stay in bounds. The score is 20 to 11. Freeman again to serve. And there's Argus getting on the board. Scores 20 to 12 is number four. Lillian Pets to serve. The so point goes to the Warriors, number five. That was fair, just getting that one under the net. Scores 21 to 12. Point again to the Warriors is 21 to 12, and uh, well, it's getting about time now. And that now or never time here for Argus. The score is now 23 to 12. It's Mallory Hoover gets set to serve. We have number four coming in. For the Warriors, I believe that's Reese Hoover. I can't tell if that was blocked by the athletes or the net, but the point goes to the Warriors. 
score is 24 to 12 here. North Miami gets the point. It'll be um, all over. And there it is. North Miami takes set number four. That'll uh, well, that'll end the competition yep. for tonight. Um, the uh, told you I was gonna get some popcorn. <laughs> I didn't get the nachos. Oh, thank but, you. <laughs> um, that'll end the competition tonight with the uh, uh, North Miami Lady Warriors uh, taking it three sets to one. Mm -hmm. Uh, you are watching Argus TV here on RTC TV4. We will be back on Saturday uh, broadcasting the championship game for the Argus Varsity uh, Boys Soccer uh, Invitational. And then we will be back again Monday night uh, for the uh, Argus Lady Dragons uh, playing Westville uh, in volleyball. And then I'm not 100% sure what we are doing yet for next Thursday. Um, there's both a home volleyball game and a home uh, uh, soccer game. Mm -hmm. So I'm not 100% sure yet which one we're going to be covering. Mm -hmm. um, it looks like next Thursday, actually next Thursday looks like almost like a Friday night with all the football yeah. games and everything like that. Yep. I mean, it's a full night. So I know Steve down at the... Uh, down at the office will be busy being uh, being tech man for yeah, all certainly. the different schools with eight different schools going on and and eight games it gets very hectic for the uh, the, the techs that are working at night mm -hmm. um, well this is uh, this is Phil Dean and as for as for me and for Alex Korn we want to wish everybody a good night stay safe and we will be back again on Saturday.